Hi, welcome to the channel. This is Ford EcoBoost 2018 model. Basically, customer called us. There is a huge smoke at the back. Then we went to him. We recovered car to us because we have a recovery service also well. Yeah, I already load the car and bring it back to the yard. This is the video we recovered here this morning. Now I'm going to do the process how we going to diagnose the problem and what happened. Basically, I'm not going to film him how we going to repair, but this video, my main concern, how we going to identify the problem. First of all, like this problem, 90% my mindset turbo, but however, too early to comment anything, we'll plug in our computer and we'll go through the process. If you still not subscribe my channel, please do it now and press bell icon. You can get a lot of video like this because many people struggle to find out the problem, what's going on and what happened. This is the answer. Also, we nearly reached to the 50,000 subs. So please subscribe and follow my channels. There is a giveaway once we complete 50,000 subs. There is a car. Alert. We're nearly at 50,000 subscribers. That's right, we're giving away a car, completely free, to one of you. If you are in UK, all you need to do is subscribe us and stay tuned. Maybe you are the winner, we will give this car. It's Euler's free, 53 plate, little bit high mileage, but you can do day to day base. So stay on the channel. Right, first thing first, I'm going to plug in the computer and come back to you at the moment I don't want to start the car under the PCM there is a two faulty cords regarding HO2S heater control circuit yeah and the O2 sensor there is a two faulty cord at the moment it's not giving any faulty cord for the turbo under boost or under pressure okay right next step I'm coming to the tailpipe. Yeah, you can see my finger, plenty of oil there. Right, we'll go to the engine bay. I will take a dipstick out, wipe. According to the problem, it shouldn't be oil there or very low oil level. I don't know. Right, you can see exactly it's lower than the low level this is the low level we'll see the smell yeah too much petrol smell there right anyway it's not a problem right and also i can see some coolant leak here yeah you can see my finger right okay i'm going to visually check and this side also top of the gearbox i can see you can see pink color mark yeah so at the moment this vehicle has a coolant leaking problem also well Next step, I'll start the car and quickly show you what's going on. Sometime if you have a, like a, the faulty cords under boost, what we need to do, we need to remove the pipe from here. We can install this unit. This is the smoke test. Then you can find out any boost leak around this area. I'm not worried about the boost leak because I can bypass that section because it's not giving any faulty code right next step i'm quickly start the car and have a look the tailpipe yeah you can see the huge white smoke okay we'll quickly go to the engine bay i can hear Huge rattling noise from the turbo side. I don't want to keep it running the car. I'll switch off the car and I'll come back to you. Right. At the moment, I can hear clearly turbo very rattly. Right. I can confirm at the moment this turbo faulty. That's why the all get the problem. But I don't want to stop from here. Now we know the bypass the what do you call the smoking test? I'm happy. Then I know 
turbo faulty. Then when you see like this problem, oh, many carriages said, yes, look, you are turbo faulty, we need to replace. Then they replace, like uh, six weeks ago, another car came, they replaced the turbo from the France, car came here, halfway, again the same problem, they recover to us, then again turbo gone. Then after that, we go through the process again, same like today, because what happened, that car didn't get enough oil to the turbo. They replaced the turbo, but they didn't replace the turbo feeder line or they didn't check. That's why the problem. Then after that, we checked the line. We found the block there. Then we replace it all fine with the new turbo. Customer had to spend again. Otherwise, customer had to go to France. Anyway, that's another story. Now, what I'm going to do, this is the feeder line. I want to make sure oil come to here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this banjo bolt and same time, safety first, I'll remove the old spark plugs connectors and fuel line connector because while we do the job, I don't want to send too much fuel to the inside the engine and start the car and it's make it worse the problem. So I'm going to remove all connectors and come back to you. Right, I already remove the old wiring loom for the spark plugs and I already remove the electrical connector for the high pressure fuel pump, no fuel into the system. Then I remove this banjo bolt and what I'm going to do, I'll install this cover because otherwise oil going everywhere. We already installed the bag, you can see here. Now we'll see what's going on here. Yeah, try to start the car for me. Yeah, okay. Right. Yes, I can confirm the what do you call the oil supplier pipe or feeder pipe very good condition because I'll got the oil. Right. Then I don't have uh, any doubt for the oil feeder pipe. It's send oil as should be. Basically, this job, I can confirm this turbo fault. If you ask why this turbo fault, I feel in this customer didn't do the proper service last two years. That's why the I feel in because the oil very thick and smell and low. Right. I can give the confidence answer. Once we replace the turbo, this problem 100% sort out. Also, make sure when you're going to replace the turbo, replace the turbo feeder pipe. Otherwise, you will dig in the problem. Normally, turbo around six, seven hundred pounds, but this feeder pipe around like a 30, 40 pound. Don't thinking about 30, 40 pounds. Do it same time. Job done. Okay for next two, three years just without any problem. You know the how to check the turbo, what's going on, and after that. I'm not filming the, sorry, the replacing the turbo. Thanks for watching. Comment section open. And also, please follow my channels. Try to win that car. It might be yours. See you with the next video. This is the turbo. I took it off from the car. You can see. Wiggly. And also, I forget to mention while you do the job. Make sure change engine oil and oil filter at least. Thank you.